Welcome to Doom Eternal, the Chill Vibe Edition. This will be Doom Eternal in a different way than you've ever seen before, but make no mistake, it's going to be full of ripping and tearing. Look how good those micro-missiles are when they have that amped up power behind them. You can't help but get a little excited when you see how powerful they really are in the Slayer's arsenal. Now normally, I don't use too many things like this, but in a case with the Chill Vibes, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? We don't need this crazy quick switching, just if you want to have Doom Eternal in a relaxed way, this is how you get it, right? So, Necrovall's a good map. It's a nice, quick, short, have a little break from things, and you can always kill the demons in a really, really fun way. So, you have to make sure you hit all these hazards here. Watch out for the Kaku Demon in the distance. He will give you issues if you're not careful. Now, when we come up here, this room's a little nasty. Normally, we'd want to do a lot of quick switching, but right now, let's just see what the mobile turret has to say about this. Listen to that. I'm going to be using the mobile turret in a really cool way here in just a second, so... Don't you miss out on that. Wow, look at the blood punch on that pinky. It's so nice, isn't it? You can thoroughly take in the environments. The sweet, wholesome, and friendly, well, fiery environments of Necroball when we come over to this area. Now, I want to show you one of my favorite parts of this map right here. And we're really going to use that mobile turret to our advantage. There's nothing better sometimes than loading up with the quad damage. Just listen to this. Man, the sweet, sweet sounds of that thick old mobile turret with the quad damage raining out is such a great way to end your day. You know, the, listen, I just want you to hear that sound of that cacodemon, that eye pop glory kill. You know, this arena is pretty nice because it teaches you about the tyrant, and normally you don't see him ever before, but now we actually do outside of the Ark Slayer Gate or that super gore nest, a, the Easter egg. You know what I'm talking about there. Serena gets really quiet when you look at it in this whole way, and it's actually over a lot faster than it started, because we're already moving on to the next section. Now I know Samuel's got a lot to say right here, and I know these big wide open gates, look at that environment over in the distance. Sometimes you just want to chill. I don't think these people in the wall, I don't think they're chilling very much because they look like they're having a bad day. Well, they should have listened to the Chill Doom Eternal series to have a better day. Now, when we flip this switch, you have to take a look at what comes through this wall. Normally, we would burn down this barren fast, but we're going to give him a nice, chill experience. Literally chill with the ice bomb. I didn't mean to make that joke there. And of course, none other than a glory kill to top that off. I really think this Calabas Arena that we have coming up will be a good one. And a lot of people get a lot of things wrong about that one. And the thing about Calabas, let's, let's go over that right now as, as to what people get wrong. Well, this is a little tricky puzzle to make it through, but thankfully we're able to do that. All right, we're gonna ride the carts now. I'm gonna speed this section up a little bit. Now, people miss this about Calabaz, let me tell you this. These pain elementals that we see, they're not gonna be forever respawning. There's only two of them. You take out a couple eyes and they start spawning in, but luckily we're ready to go. and We're prepared for anything when it comes to this. All right, this first one that spawns, we're just gonna give him a nice little chainsaw treatment. That fills up all of our ammo and helps us reach this next one. Oh, we're losing a little bit of armor there. We better get that back. See if we can do a nice ice bomb. Oh, that was great. Such a good shot. That was really nice. Doing the Arbalest Rockets really cool on these eyeballs because man, look how well it takes them out. Oh, our platforming is falling, but hey, it's no worry right there because we got rid of that eyeball, right? I think this next section's pretty good. Well, we can skip past it a little bit if we really want to, and you know what? I, I think we're going to do that. That next arena after it gives a lot of people trouble, but I think we'll be okay when we try to go through in a chill way, right? All right. By the way, thanks for joining me on this journey. I feel like we're a talk radio station in the mornings or in the evenings. You know, the real chill type, but that's okay. I want to get rid of this Dread Knight first. He gives me a lot of problems, man. When we do that, we can keep fighting and keep phasing that arena forward. Oh, this is going to get really nasty. I think we're going to send a BFG. Oh, we have a delay. Make sure it doesn't hit that pillar. Oh, no. Make sure... Oh, wow, we actually got the Cacodemon in the process, which is really nice. But that Mancubus up there, he needs a blood punch. Don't you think so? Oh, yeah, he sure does. Now, I really want to watch out for that knight, because we're going to be getting an Archfile in soon. Just as soon as he's in, he sure is down, man. We really got him taken care of, didn't we? Happy little arch files painting across the rip and tear doom spectrum. Ah, oh, it's only these fodder left, and I don't think they'll be too hard on us, would you? Nah. Let's go ahead and restock. That arena was pretty decent, but I think we can keep it going strong in this Necrovall hellscape that we have. 
All right. Well, I think we missed our platforming a little, but that's okay. We're going to come right up. Nice part about this is you can just ice bomb and just, just skip all the way across. Look at that. We're making it. We're going to make it, boys. We're all going to make it. All right. Girls, too. Or anyone else that may be watching this. As we have this chill Bob Ross experience. Everybody's going to make it. I don't care. All right. You know what I think about this next arena? We're going to end this one quick. If you blink, you miss it. You know, in this true fashion, you just have to meet hook up, punch out that little buff totem, and then things are all all right again. It's not too bad, is it? Well, that Cyberman can be sure does be a problem if we don't get rid of him, and I hear a pinky off to the side, too. Oh, we really need to be careful with that Cyberman. We're going to have some bad, bad days if we are. All right, looking down at that pinky. We got to get in there with the blood punch. Looking too good there. This fodder, we're going to want to restock before we hit this next arena reason I say that is you know it's a Marauder coming up, and you know he's not going to play around. Well, I tell you what, I think we, we missed our switch over here, didn't we? I think it happens to a lot of us. You know, we get all in the heat of the combat, and we miss what we need with this switch. All right, let's flip this thing, and we're going to keep it going strong tonight. Hope you're having a good day today. This is a pretty wholesome experiment here that we have. Doom can be a chill game, I believe it. Now that whiplash sure can be a problem for us. That Marauder really surprised me. Oh, man. Oh, that was exciting. I uh, wasn't expecting that Marauder to come up on me like that, but that's all right. Sometimes you'll have that in Doom. An important thing is keeping a cool head, because if you don't keep a cool head, you're going to die. You know, we don't want you to die when you're playing Doom Eternal. That's not the experience we want to have, is it? I think we need to restock. That's an exciting arena. I'll tell you what. We're about to get our heart rate elevated too much. And remember, when we're having that chill experience, we just want to just drop it on down a level. Hey, would you look at that? We have another crucible charge. That sure is going to come in handy in our next arena. I sure wish these elevators would go. Oh, there we go. Are you guys having a good day today? You uh, faces? Well, I don't think they feel like talking to me today. But, but that's okay. We're, we're going to keep it going with that. Now with this next arena, what you're going to find is it's uh, pretty brutal. It's, uh, it's a good one. But if you're, uh, if you're prepared, I think you'll be okay. I like to go ahead and get some flame belch on these zombies. You see this BFG right here? We're going to put it to good use, right? All right. There we go. Line up the shot. Almost like a sniper. Looking great. Ah, uh, we can't go back to that BFG, can we? Well, that's unfortunate. That's most unfortunate, but it'll be okay. We still have two shots. I'm not worried about it at all. Can't be worried about anything right now because, hey, why? Well, as the great Mick Gordon said in that song from so long ago, don't worry, be happy. You know what I mean? All right. Ah, oh, it's a perfect little blood punch. Perfect little happy blood punch right there on that Doom Hunter. Can you believe that? I sure am glad that we got that shot off on him. All right. Wow, we still have our Crucible left. I think we better make good use of that, huh? Hey, we got our Crucible challenge. Way to go. That's looking great. Now, this section can really kill a lot of people, so we got to be careful on how we go about that. Well, that's Olivia Pierce right up here, remember? We'll punch her statue down with a nice little friendly go at it, and then we'll be able to watch her crumble and fall just like her evil self needs to do. Oh, would you look at those candles? They better be careful as fire hazard as we jump into Necrovault 2. Thank you for joining me on this very chill Doom Eternal experience. Check out the next video here and subscribe if you want me to do this again. My name is Alston. Thank you for watching.